Hello. Hey, good evening. <laughs> evening. How have you been? I'm good. Good. I can't complain. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? <laughs> doing, doing very well. It seems as if uh, a lot has changed over the past year and a half since we last spoke. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> moving one thing at a time, but yeah, trying to make some changes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It feels so good to be back. I mean, you definitely, you know, you're you're so supportive of not only just me, but, you know, many, many, many artists. So, you know, we thank you so very much for your support. No, no, Frizi. Actually, I think when I look back at um, at, at the interview, because as I said, I, I'm a full time therapist and that's my nine to five. Um, mm -hmm. But it was yourself and M Lily and. Mila from 702 who mm -hmm. I've probably had the most sort of mo I've had felt the most impact talking here in your stories and 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 you know being able to see you guys being very open and vulnerable mm -hmm. about the experience and 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 so those are things that really um really really relate to me so yes I I, I still remember almost every minute of our, of our conversation so I appreciate you being able to come back and stuff Absolutely. Absolutely. My my pleasure. I was thrilled when when they told me that, you know, hey, you got an interview with Halftime Chat. And I'm like, yay. I, know <laughs> I think we had to reschedule a couple of times because it was just, you know, the scheduling. But I was like, yeah, we're going to make this happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. Uh, what I was seeing the world of difference is because when we first had, you know, you at home and, you know, the camera was the hard light and then we moved around and it's almost as if, OK, now I'm. But more, I'm more like okay. I'm now, you know, it's a, it's a, almost like, and at that time it was more like you're telling your story, but you went as you went really back into the industry, and it, and I've seen over the last couple of months that you look as if you're actually performing more and and actually taking the comeback a lot more, taking the comeback a little bit more serious now. Is that that the case? Yes. Yeah, so you have seen right, and you know what? <laughs> if I if I can go back a little bit. Like when you and I, you know, uh, had the first interview, I think you were like one of the first ones mm -hmm. um, right after I did, you know, decide to, you know, you know, re re uh, adventure back in, you know, to this world. So it's like it's it's amazing. So, yeah, here we are again. So, yeah, I, I had started doing a couple of shows. It kind of started like last October um, and I did uh, November again, uh, another show in November. And then, or was it December? I can't even remember. Nevertheless, it was a total of about three or three three shows or so, and had a couple offers for more. But we decided to kind of like put a little bit of pause on it because um, I started focusing more on, you know, trying to just regroup in other areas. Um, was doing some interviews here and there, and even pulled back on some of them. And when I say regroup, more so meaning, you know, um, at that point I was in the negotiation phases with you know, uh, where I wanted to sign or where I wanted to be. So mm -hmm. just kind of like laid low a little bit on that. And then eventually, you know, um, God led to me, you know, where he wanted me to be. And so um, now that I pretty much have partnered with Infanity, uh, which is uh, I absolutely love being with them. Um, we are working my project now. So there's wow. like a couple of singles to come and, uh, Infinity. For those who don't know, it's a um, it's it's like a Web three. It is a Web three. It's a, a, a digital, if you will, um, type of platform where you know artists can. Um, and when I say artists, I don't just mean recording artists. People that have artistry, um, where they can go and and have more flexibility and do more things um that they would like to do with their artistry if, if that makes sense it's almost like I, my comparison is like cryptocurrency you know stop it's where you can have a collectible of of, of your of your favorite artists and mm -hmm. you get to follow them and do a number of things with them so it's like when new things come out um your artists are the first to know can have first access to certain things so it's kind of like although it's almost like they're invested in you it's like they also still get different perks that people wouldn't get. So my music um, is definitely going to be uh, coming soon. We are still working out a few things with that, but it's definitely coming soon. Initially, I had told people um, the end of March, but I will say with this whole Web3 um, 
they're there, there, there aren't and out a lot of things right now because it's it's something kind of new, you know. For those mm. people that do know, it's something kind of new. So it's not like your average record deal. So long story short, um, we um, are working on, you know, pr- trying to promote my pro- my product. I am on Infinity's website. I do have what we call an NFT, non fungible token, again, mm. which is like a cryptocurrency. So please go out there and support it. It is on Infinity's website. Um, if you're unsure of Infinity website, go ahead and send me a DM on my IG, which is the real Gina Thompson, and I can give you more information about that. So we're excited. It's a new experience. It's I'm still learning and still <laughs> growing with it, but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, and it's getting ready to really take over the industry by storm, for real. Yeah, I mean, for people like myself who have no uh, understanding around bitcoins and crypto and and mfts and stuff like that it's it's uh i guess it's <clears throat> i'm still very much of the traditional you go buy a cd and stuff and even doing the digital downloads are, are hard for me what made you decide to go that particular route instead of just saying okay i'll record some music and just mm-hmm. lease them on i uh, use orchard music just to monitor it while it goes out on spotify youtube and apple and well, t- just to add that, eventually it will be on those platforms as well. Okay. But the thing, that, yep. But the thing that I do like about the NFT, like I said, in learning, um, what I have gathered is that it is a way that an artist can actually make more money, or you know, and and not work as hard. So, for mm. example, you know, um, in your standard record deals or a lot of the record deals, I mean, from the time that I, you know, used to record. There's so many people that gets money, they get their, you know, the record company gets recoupables and, and I get it, but it's like out of a hundred percent, if you look at a whole pie, um, the artist may get maybe 5% of that pie and mm. the other 95% is always tallied up and going somewhere. Now, unless that artist has actually written or when I say written, meaning wrote songs, publishing is definitely a good point or a good avenue where you can, you know, pretty much get, all, you know, fairly all your money. Yeah. But with this web web three, what I absolutely love about it is, you know, the artist can still get that. And now instead of like even with this hundred percent, you know, analogy that I'm using, um, yeah. even with that hundred percent, the artist can now get maybe forty or fifty. You know, so the artist is able to do so much more and get so much more. And it's more of like a personable connection that the artist can have again with their fans. And again, it's new. You and I both know that technology is taking over the world has taken over the world there's so much remote stuff that's going on and you know uh jobs that are going on and 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 people are just moving more and more towards the internet and online and so again with this web3 it creates an environment for um you know um nft holders again non-fungible tokens nft holders um as well as artists um and artists can be a holder as well to really, really profit well off of this. You know, again, it's still something that I'm learning, <laughs> but um, from what I have gathered so far and some of the stories that I've been shared about other artists and how they decided to change from, you know, the music industry and now move over here and realize that I don't even have to work nearly nowhere as hard and I am making this type of money. Mm. So, and the love, the you know, just having the love of it, the, the flexibility and the freedom and, you know, so when it was brought to my attention by uh, Renata or Rena, she is the CEO, um, DJ Big Leak or Leak, he's the COO, um, when, um, and Daryl Jenkins, who was my manager, when they all brought the idea to me, you know, and felt like I would fit right in with the mm-hmm. Infinity family, you know, partner in with them well. I love their mission, their vision, and they know, I always say it's their energy. They have such great energy, and I love the energy of the entire Infinity family, the leftovers, which I'm sure we'll talk about in a few, (laughs) you know. So I'm just so thankful, you know, to God that that this opportunity, you know, is, I'm not going to say was, is there for me, you know, and I'm looking to grow with it. I'm looking to look at other avenues in it and I'm just thankful. I'm very thankful. My expectations aren't so, so, so crazy high. You know, um, I'm thankful for what, you know, whatever God has in store for me. I think it's going to be a really, really fun journey. Yeah. I mean, what about the, your nursing? Are you still 
Of course. Of course. (laughs) Yes. That doesn't go. I will soon be a nurse practitioner. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. I know the last time you, great memory, you and I did talk. Um, Yeah, that's still my passion as well. Music, of course, is and nursing still is. I mean, once you have the degree, unless you break some rules and your, you know, license (laughs) gets stripped from you, but I'm going to always have that. And I'm so thankful to God for that because it's like a plan A and B, if you will, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So like I said, you know, I love music. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, we know, you know, how things can go, how they can be. However, wherever Gina lands, it's going to be fruitful for me, you know, because I'm already blessed and doing well, you know, um, so yes, I, I'm not giving my, you know, my (laughs) nursing up. (laughs) No, no way. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Halftime Chat community. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Uh, But most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.